Yay. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay. I love this little forgot. color scheme you guys got going on. That was cute. I yeah. forgot a very important part of my wardrobe. Your glasses? Yeah. How do I, like, see... Do I just have to go on to YouTube to see? No, it's all done right here. And we're live. Hello, everybody. Oh, because it says, hello. <laughs> oh, there's already people commenting. Can you guys yeah. see that? Hi, guys. Yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> I was live. on the private chat. I'm like, nobody's saying hi. Uh -oh. Like, I don't know if people are on. <laughs> yeah, under comments. I oh, see. God. Look at everybody. Hello, everyone. I'm very Let's excited see. for this. Let's Dale see. is the guy who made a video about me but claims that it wasn't about me he claims that it was about the entire anti-mlm anti community which it was but there was a lot of focus on me hello i brought the beanie back i brought the glasses back i love it i love that whole look the blue thank hair so everything thank you it's my fave you. i appreciate it yes hunter likes to call him stale dale <laughs> correct ew <laughs> I listened to so many hours of Stale Dale, and it was, <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit. painful. Hey, Becca. Hey, Kendra. So can I see your guys's like comments on your channel too, or no? Um, this is you can actually sort at the bottom, so like you can <clears throat> can comment under your name on your channel. So essentially, in case everybody didn't know, we're we're streaming all three channels. Yeah. So under the comments, you can pick for like what we're seeing, Jess. Yeah. Um, you can go to the bottom where you're posting a comment and you can pick your name and then that that's you interacting with your channel. I don't I don't think I see what you see. I don't have a spot where I can leave a comment. Oh. Which uh, is fine. Yeah. Which is fine. I was just wondering. Okay. Yeah. No, we're good. Okay. All right, guys. Should we just go ahead and get started? Yeah. Yeah, so I really just wanted to get um, Aaron and Julie on because I feel like I have a little bit of a bias when it comes to Dale because he seems to be like targeting me. <laughs> so I feel like if I just got two other people on who have an out kind of like an outsider's perspective, although you still have a little bit of a bias because we are anti MLM, but he claims he's anti MLM too. So we're all part of the same bias. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to go through Dale made another video about me. He said it was going to be his last one. And then he made like what five more after that, yeah. which we're just going to go through one of them today. But, but yeah, so, um, yeah, let's just pull up Dale's video. Let's do it and watch it together. I'm going to pause the sound really quick. Uh, just cause it's loud. Okay. Let me turn up the volume. First of all, I think we need to talk about this thumbnail. First, the, the fact that it says final word for one, which is funny because he made like five more after this one. <laughs> but then also I had to look up what a talking head was. And it's it's a it's an insult, too. So good job. Yeah. Nice. I, I'm so insulted. Yeah. Same. My feelings are very hurt. So <laughs> much. Uh, OK, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> stressed you strongly enough why you need to read this article i'm going to cover some ex excerpts from the article i'll start it over hey, this is dale calvert i'd like to welcome you to this session uh we're going to talk about six reasons the anti mlm talking heads have zero credibility provide no value to the marketplace six very distinct reasons i'm also going to share with you an article that is very, very important for you to read. It'll be in the description somewhere. If you can, if you're a person that follows the anti MLM crowd, I cannot stress to you strongly enough why you need to read this article. I'm going to cover some ex excerpts from the article here in just a second, but I think it's real important that you understand that I have no dog in the hunt, okay? It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. There's no financial gain for me at all from covering this information. Uh, I'm going to tell you the story. I'll share. I feel like, yeah. Go ahead. No, you. Because I'm sure you we're about to say my, Okay. 
So yeah. my uh, my thing with that is like he 100% obviously has a dog in the fight or dog in the hunt, whatever he said. Like not only is he an MLM coach, so um, he wants people to come to him to be successful in MLM. So we are like steering people away from what he's trying to accomplish. But also... <laughs> I get so distracted by the comments popping up, which is fine. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he totally has a dog in the fight. And also he is a part of an MLM, which I found out. So go Currently ahead. Currently building also a coach. Sorry. I'm trying to figure this out because Jessica's <laughs> covered whenever we put a comment up there on my end. Oh, there we go. Let me see what happens when I do this. Oh, no, we're all covered. Well, okay. This will be fine. Yeah. Anyway, he, like Jessica said, I mean, he literally, is, it's the exact opposite. Yeah. I mean, he, he's- We don't have a dog in the fight. <laughs> exactly. We literally don't have a dog in the fight, but he's the one that does. You said, we looked up his MLM, we did all that info search, and we know he has a coaching business as well with MLM. It's just, why lie? <laughs> Why not be honest about it? That that's something that always baffles me, especially with like when we talk about Jesse Lee, and we we're like, why? I'm always like, why are all the why all the lies? You know what is it? It blows my mind. It blows my mind. I can't stand liars. I just can't stand liars. Yeah, especially well, they're so easily proven wrong. Right. Like, do you not think we know how to like look it up? Yeah, just don't lie. It's not that hard. It's easier to tell the truth. All right, you want to keep going? Yeah. yeah. With you, you can follow it. Uh, believe it if you want to. Don't believe it. Doesn't matter to me. But I'm going to cover this for you, and I and hopefully this is the final word. I mean, thankfully Jessica Hickson has provided me enough content uh, from short video clips that I can do for a long time. Just from the. Is it the final word, or did Jessica give you enough content so that you could do more? You know, we're not really sure, but. <laughs> is it really quiet for you guys and like echoey yeah can you hear it well because i like i had to mute myself because it was like echoing but then it's still really quiet you know i got the volume up as loud as it can go okay also yeah. the last time i watched dale's video i put it in 1.25 percent if you want to do that like the speed because he talks so slow oh, i wonder <laughs> yes please <laughs> let me see y'all chit chat for a second while i go figure this out i don't know if we can even do that yeah we oh, wait. i think we're all gonna have to keep changing the volume because his the volume is so low on his video um, so thanks for being adaptable friends we appreciate you Oh, playback speed, 1.25. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Okay. Uh, that she has provided, but let me just. Let me remove it and add it back in just so that we can do 120. All right, remove. Um, and then I'm going to completely remove it. I'm going to add it back in because that 0.25 will make <laughs> a big difference. Huge, okay. Huge difference. Okay, let's see. I'd like to welcome you to this. There we go. I think that's 0.25. So we were at 120. All right. It, also, look at the truth behind the anti MLM movement. That face. Okay. okay. And look, there's Aaron. Look at you. <laughs> that 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 blue hair. Always flexible for my favorite anti MLM. Oh, thank you, Megan. Thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Are you ready to continue? Yep. Okay. Kind of get into it. See, I understand as human beings, our strengths are our weaknesses. Those of you that have heard our podcast or listened to me over the years, you've heard me say that many times. You know, self awareness, understanding yourself is very important. And what I have discovered over the years that our strength is usually our weakness. And that's certainly for it is it for me and many other people. You know, there's some people that are very smart. They have very high IQs. And because of that, it, it prevents them from really seeing sometimes things that are really clear and obvious because they've got to analyze until they're paralyzed. And I could give you a lot of other examples, but I won't. 
Our strength is our weakness. For me, several years ago, probably 15, 20 years ago, I did an article, uh, a, a writer from Home Business mm -hmm. Magazine or are you sure this is 1.25? 1.25? Did you guys hear that? He just, he just said 20 years ago he read an article. He read an article from 20 years ago. Exactly, Dale. Exactly. 19 years ago? What, what difference does that make? Like, um, let me see. Um, I don't know if I can make it 1.2. It's 1.25 on my original, like, a video that I upload into here. So I don't yeah. know if I can make it 1.25 on here. He, he definitely does make PowerPoints for you for his YouTube channel. Oh. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> they are so hardcore, like late 90s as well. Like his PowerPoints. But in this one, he does uh show his face. So we'll actually get to see Dale this time. All right. We let's will. do it. Let's look at Dale wanted to do an interview and I did it over the phone. And at the end of the article, uh, I, I made the statement, I see people better than they are. And in so doing, some of them become that which I believe them to be. And that is my strength. That's been my strength over the years, but it's also been my weakness. And honestly, uh, when, when I first started evaluating the anti-MLM crowd, I mean, I get it. I understand. I, I, I have no problem with 99% of what they put into the marketplace. It is what it is. And this past year, I've had three or four people that had asked me about, you know, Dale, what do you think about all this, this anti-MLM niche and these people on YouTube and so on and so forth. And then I had somebody that had contacted somebody and they were excited and then they ran across some generic anti-MLM video on YouTube so that pulled me into this this was probably back in November and one night just out of you know let me evaluate as much as I, as I can and I had spent about 10 hours just listening to to their gripes and complaints and agreed with them most of the videos that they showed I'm glad they got them out there. They needed to be called out. People needed to be called out. This industry needed to be called out. I had no problem with 99% of what I saw. No problem. If so there I was no problem, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Behind. Absolutely. Like, I'm writing it down on 346. No problem with what anti MLM 99% because we know that there's going to be something that he has a problem with. What's 1% you think? Like when he says... I have a problem with 99% or he I has a problem. He has a problem with me, probably you guys too, having been in an MLM and then it not working for me. And now I'm deterring people away from what didn't work for me and all the decisions I made while I was in, that's my problem. Like I can't blame anyone else for that, which I don't try to blame anyone else, but people in MLMs are under a certain type of spell where they do things they wouldn't normally do in their right mind. I think he's going to use the, you tried one company yep, and it didn't work for me, for you. And that's now why you're bitter or you're a hater. However, for those of you that don't know, I was a part of six companies over 13 and a half years and I was very successful. I was in the top 0.38%. So what he's saying is, in my opinion, going to be null and void because I was successful. Very and I feel like his main point is that you have to get with the right company at the right time. And with that point, you're literally proving the point that the people that get in early are the ones that are successful. If you have to get in on a specific time, there's a reason for that. And that's because you have to be at the top and in early in order to make any money. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, misogyny seems about right. Yeah, <laughs> it honestly gets worse throughout this video. It, it does. The misogyny and just how disrespectful he is. It just gets so much worse. You all ready? Mm-hmm. And the anti-MLM movement uh, for people to, to see. And I did that video. It's on YouTube. And there it is right there. That's what it looks like. So I did that. And then what happened was 
you have to just bear with me. I've got three or four things going on at the same time. Uh, you know, I put that out there and I got a, a lot of response from some friends and emails and, and people. Uh, one guy called me, a, a friend of mine that I've known for many years, and he said, you know, she she had no uh, network marker. She, she, she said that no network marker, particularly talking about Mrs. Hicks and had no network marker had ever called her out. And he said, Dale, she doesn't understand your track record, who she's dealing with. And you've been on their side for years. You were the original anti-MLMer. That's what my friend is telling me. <laughs> and he said, you know, the sad part is we could help these people out. We know many leaders and gurus that need to be called out. And he said, just too bad their motives are not positive and authentic, but centered around their own personal gain, financial. <laughs> You're muted, Julie. Dale's the original anti-MLMer? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nobody knows who he is, though. Uh, he's also a 35-year network marketing pro. Yeah. So my thing with this is, if you, first of all, I didn't know this at the time, but if you're actively in an MLM, you're not anti-MLM. If you are coaching people in an MLM, you are not anti-MLM. You can be anti certain tactics that they're using or anti certain people that are doing it wrong, but you're not anti-MLM just because you don't like those things. We're yeah. anti the business structure. We're not anti the people. <laughs> yeah. I don't think oh, sorry, JJ, go ahead. No, I was just agreeing. I don't think you can be anti-MLM and be actively building in an MLM in addition to having a coaching business that helps people run their MLM. I, I don't, you can't do that. That's yeah. not how that works. He's taking from every plate in the buffet. Yep. I but feel like we've seen this before. I feel like we've seen people that are saying or alleging that they are anti-MLM and that the industry needs to be called out, but also actively building. Sounds like company. Ariel. <laughs> <gasps> Sounds like Melaleuca too. <laughs> oh my gosh. The whole MLM PTSD thing. We understand your mental health. We were there. Come to our MLM because it is just not that way. We're so different. We're so different. The comp plan is so we copied a compensation plan, but whatever. The comp plan is so Lots different, but it looks just like hemp works. <laughs> Lots of tea with that, but it just, <laughs> oh God. I mean, it, it's, it frustrated me. The first time I watched this through like a couple weeks ago, he said original anti-MLMer. How? You know, it just, it's almost insulting, to be honest. I think that's his, that's his way of um, like connecting with us on a level to make himself more qualified to speak on it because yeah. we're anti MLMers. So he wants to be kind of like on our side so that he can make his point. Yeah. He's like, I'm on your side and this is why you're wrong. You can listen to me because I'm on your side. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. All right, let's keep going. So gain. And that's true. Uh, you know, when I stop and think about it, those of you who listen to this podcast or, or seen anything I've done over the years, I mean, way back to 1999 when I did network marketing as a scam and trying to tell the profession, look, we got we can't keep going down this road. We got to change some things. We've got the best opportunity in the world for average people with above average desire to create financial independence in three to five years. We, you know, we don't need to to try to make it better than that. It's phenomenal the way it is. We got to tell people the truth, help them develop the skill sets, mindsets that will move them forward in their life and in their career. And that's where I've always come from. Many of you know that I started in a little 600 square foot house driving a beat up Chevette. And the thing that I want to, you know, just emphasize right here is a brass plaque. You can't see it on the photo, but it says never forget. And that was my promise to myself. And probably the only reason that I story. got involved in this anti MLM niche or spend as much time in it as I have. But hopefully, again, this will be the last video. I'm going to cover six 
important concepts, ideas. You can agree with them, not agree with them. It doesn't matter. It's going to take him 45 minutes to get to the first one, though. A couple (laughs) months ago, spur of the moment, sit down off the cuff and did this video. After that, for some reason, I didn't know Jessica Hickson from a hole in the wall. But for some reason, because I, I went through a YouTube page showing different anti-MLMers. Um, Dale, you didn't show different anti-MLMers. You showed Jessica. You showed just Jessica. You're muted, Julie. I don't know if you know that, but... <laughs> That happens to me all the time. Um, it's funny because he like his thumbnail has different. I'm I'm in one of his thumbnails even, but it's like just Jessica, and it's yeah. like nah, man. Like, I mean, at this point, he's he's really being a bully to you, and and I don't use that word lightly. As we know in the anti malin world and the movement, people call us bullies all the time. But as someone who's seen this before, the things that he says about you, the things that he says is so insulting and so degrading and extremely misogynistic. Um, I just, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Of all the ones out there, for some reason, she just got offended by it and just took it personally. Like I was talking specifically about her and I wasn't talking any more about her than anybody else. I'm just scrolling through YouTube, but because her, picture popped up or one of her videos she got pretty aggravated about it and so now you're the angry you woman know, i did the video never thought i'd hear another thing i sent it to the guy that i had talked to to share with the lady that had run into some anti-mlm stuff and i said here's my perspective on it and i was done it's over i don't have to think about this anymore and then she comes back a message for Dale, the guy who slammed the anti-MLM movement. And see, here's what she's really thinking, the guy that slammed me. It's beyond But I thought he didn't. I really get into her responses. Uh, he just wants to make you look like an angry woman. Her. Yeah. Without question. No question. You'll see that if I decide to uh, release some of these small video drops in the future, which I probably will. But so she makes this response. And at that point, I'm still, I'm still honestly trying to give, give her the benefit of the doubt and and all the anti-network network markers, the benefit of the doubt. I'm really sincerely trying to, uh, I have my doubts, but I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt because I get it. I understand. I probably was the first anti-MLMer, but anyway, uh, so I do a response and it's, I feel like, uh, just sharing facts, logical facts, history, background, uh, not a lot of opinions, but just facts. And she comes back and does a video called let's watch Dale's response together. And the only way that I can describe Describe this was beyond bizarre, scary, bizarre. It was like listening to a third grader who doesn't have the ability to form logical thought. It was just emotional response, emotional response. Didn't hear a thing that was said, emotional response. And honestly, at that point, it was kind of scary. Uh, It's like, I'm so scary. (laughs) I read... It says, never try to explain yourself with logic and reason to emotional people. Um, Dale, that's what we do 24-7. We use logic and reason and facts. That's like our whole shebang. Also, your fiends don't need an explanation. No, he meant to put your friends. Sorry. Your friends don't need an explanation and your enemies aren't going to believe you anyway. First off, what does that have to do with But... He just called you a, a third grader that has no, like, they can't think logically. He said I was scary, bizarre. Like, just, just wait. He goes in, he goes more. 
Yeah. This sounds yeah, like, in my that. opinion, the type of person that is insulting you in a monotone voice with a smile on their face. And most people are like, oh, they're, they're joking, but they're serious. Mm -hmm. Because just, just from what we've seen in the last, however long we've been watching this, uh, the screenshots that he's picking, the words that he's using are very condescending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Purposefully. He knows yeah. exactly what he's doing. Um, tuck in your misogyny jail, 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 <laughs> Dale, Dale, jail. tuck in your misogyny. It's showing. Yeah. Never try to explain yourself with logic and reason to emotional people. And your friends don't need an explanation and your enemies aren't going to believe you anyway. And it may be just the fact that she, that she's just so anti MLM that she does not have the ability to think or to listen to reason. I don't know. And really at this point, it doesn't matter to me. This is not personal about her. It's just, she. It's not personal, but she doesn't have the ability to think. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Not personal. Yep. And she's the one that fired it, fired at me, you know, and I am responding and I did respond. So <laughs> since that time, you know, so she sends this, this bizarre response and I'm thinking, you know, I don't have time for this. Just let it lie. There's no value that's going to come from this. I don't have time for this, but I'm going to make 25 more videos on Jessica because I'm unbothered by it. Precisely. <laughs> make it make sense, Dale. I hope you're watching. No value will come from this. Just let it lie. And, and then uh, uh, I got an got email it. that kind of changed everything. And the email said, I've got a copy of it here. Uh, hi, Mr. Calvert. My name is Angela Deering. I live in San Fernando Valley. I'm a mom college student graduate and currently working with my third startup tech company since graduating college in 2014. I'm just not cut out for the corporate world, but my husband and I depend on my six-figure salary to pay our yeah. bills. I was raised in a network marketing family. My parents were full-time Herbalife distributors for 25 years. They made a great income and we spent so much time traveling the world. When I was younger, all my friends were jealous. I didn't understand that that was not the way most people live. My husband and I had a long trip back, road trip back to his parents' home over Thanksgiving. And we decided that we were going to start a side gig business that we could start together. And I could eventually build to a full-time income so I could stay home and operate our business. Since that time, we've bought courses on multiple businesses, including Amazon FBA, starting a co coffee shop, selling products and services on Poshmark, Etsy, and eBay, and on and on. Our search led us to your online auctionu.com website. We both appreciate your no BS teaching style. Eventually, I discovered that you had been involved building network marketing teams over the years. I found that ironic because as we searched for a business to start, I found myself comparing everything to the scalability, lifestyle, and freedom that I knew was available through the network marketing business because my my experience with my parents. I know MLM has changed a lot. Uh, I ran across your, your video on YouTube around the anti-MLM movement. Needless to say, I found the entire anti-MLM crowd to be made up of very immature 30-somethings that were simply working programs that didn't appear to have any unique selling proposition and then confused why they failed. They seemed mad at the world and determined to convince people all MLMs are designed to fail and so on. I watched Ms. Ms. Hickson's response to you and found it alarming how she didn't appear to be able to even understand what you were clearly communicating. My, <clears throat> my husband is convinced that she and all of her pundits making random comments were all drunk or on drugs. <laughs> I think they are too naive. To uh, so any, anyone inebriated right now in this chat? <laughs> I wish I was so I could listen to this. <laughs> 
<laughs> Same. I wish I was too. Same. Shots, 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 shots. <laughs> I want to email Dale. Dale, if you respond to this, pull up the email. Yeah, I'd like to Let's see, see it. it. Let's How see long it. is this email? It's almost over. I hate email, by the way. That's all he knows how to use. I'm I'm sorry, that was that was mean. I'm done. I understand they just were involved with the wrong companies and team leader, leaders as you tried to help them understand. Regardless, at the end of the response, when you were talking about the best opportunity for 2022, you said you could guarantee people would be profitable and that you had over 30 people who enrolled 25 plus people in their first 90 days. I heard that. Of course, Jessica acted like her brain didn't have the ability to process facts and only make up something random and, and, and comment and make unrelated comments in an attempt to pour gas on the emotions of her audience in her virtual saloon. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> in our virtual saloon. Anyway, my husband and I have watched the video a couple of times, done our investigation into the company, and would like to speak with you about joining your team. My parents were in Herbalife at the right time in history, and they were, they were with an awesome team here in California. I know what can happen is when you say the stars line up. How can we schedule a call with you? And again, <clears throat> that was from Angela. Okay, now. Let's remember he said he doesn't gain anything from this. But this is him gaining. Yeah. Literally, someone reached out to him, wants to talk to him about the MLM. Apparently, that's what he claims. Apparently. I'd love to see the email. Dale, did you write that email yourself? Dale. Uh, yeah. I just, the contradictions, like I'm writing down certain things so that I can go up. Oh, contradiction. Somebody said, Angela, call, call your dad. Angela, call your dad. <laughs> Did you guys notice how he emphasized this was from Angela? Mm -hmm. Angela. Because also if it's a female, then it has more power for us. Yeah. I really wish I could get the, the speed faster. Come on. So here Listen. I am a few days ago and I get this email. And Is that faster? We've got a, a scheduled call this week. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, there are some people that were really hearing what was going on. It wasn't a total waste of time, Dale. It wasn't a total waste of time. Here's somebody that wants to stay home needs to replace a six-figure salary, maybe you can help them, you know, and, and you don't know until you meet them and know what their, what their work ethic is and if they're teachable, but they obviously are smart enough to, to hear facts and distinguish the difference between just rhetoric being spewed and facts being given. So that got me thinking again. And then the other thing, somebody sent me this, and this really spoke to me, and this is really kind of where I am with all this. I love this. It's an experiment with, it's about the cheetah. An experiment was conducted to see if greyhounds could compete with the speed of a cheetah. When the cage opened, folks were shocked that the cheetah didn't move. They, they asked the race coordinator what happened and why the cheetah didn't move. His response, sometimes trying to prove that you're the best, is an insult to your own self-worth. There's no need to love yourself. There's no need to lower yourself to other people's level to make them understand your skills, qualities, and contributions. It's better to save your energy for more worthy endeavors. A cheetah uses its speed to hunt, not to prove to dogs that it is faster and stronger. Don't waste your time and energy proving your value to folks who simply don't possess the skill set to appreciate your value and worth. Move on. And um, you gave me. You can um, correct me if I'm wrong. 
I think you made what two videos about Dale, maybe. I did one and then a live react to his video. Okay. Uh, how many videos <laughs> about you and anti MLM has Dale made? I'm going to go with seven, six, seven. What, what the hell's with the story? <laughs> Is also, he can we appreciate the picture that he chose to use of me? Because that was, that's a beautiful one. I like that. <laughs> True. Again. Cool. Again, it's the it's it's the saying insults while smiling. That's the whole yep. vibe of what he's doing. Like I what? Just, I just picked a photo from her YouTube. Like yeah. well, I don't understand the problem. Gaslight, yeah. gaslight, <laughs> gaslight, gaslight. Yeah. yeah. Totally. I don't know why she's mad. She she threw the first punch. Right. And uh, uh, my question is, who's the cheetah? Not sure. It's not. It's not Dale. No, I agree. For sure. By the way, he talks. It's not Dale. Oh no. no. <laughs> All right, y'all ready to keep going? Yep. Sweet. The person that sent me this, you know who you are, and I appreciate that. And you're one hundred percent true. It's true. Never try to explain yourself. Your friends don't need an explanation. Your enemies aren't going to believe you anyway. But when I got the email. When I got the email, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe there is some value that can come from this rhetoric. And when I heard yeah, Angela, I got the email from Angela, I thought, well, I'm going to take this one more final point to try to drive home what's really going on in this anti-MLM world. I did a lot more research. I called a couple of people uh, in It Works, and I'm asking, you know, about jessica and it's like who is that oh is it that crazy chick on their words is it that that crazy chick on youtube nobody knows her she said she was a double diamond she was never heard any of the diamond. dale can i call you dale i would venture to say that there's a <laughs> julie joe are you trying to keep it together right now? i'm trying to keep it together dale i hope you're watching I think that there's a lot of people that know Jessica Hickson. How many subscribers do you have, Jessica Hick? If y'all know just Jessica, told I was flexing last time, so that doesn't oh, I'll matter. Say it. But... Okay, um, I'll say it, y'all. How many how many subscribers does Jessica Hickson have? I, I'd venture to say there's a lot of people that know her. Well over eighteen thousand. Let us know in the let us know in the comments. Okay. Um, also. First off, if you think that's flexing, I'm sorry. I have a problem with that. Second, 371,000 people on TikTok. People don't follow people in our ring because they're obnoxious or rude or they do stupid things. People follow people because they want to hear what we have to say. Also, I would like to note just for my own like mental well-being, um, I was a triple diamond, not a double diamond. Also, <laughs> I know that he didn't talk to anyone because he said, um, they said she's never been at any of our diamond meetings. And a diamond is like the very base level leadership rank in it works. The like leadership, like top leadership levels are not called like diamond ranks. So nobody would have ever said She's never been at any of our diamond diamond meetings. And I was at all of the leadership stuff, but yeah. <laughs> oh, Dale. Also, I, I would not have said that you're crazy. The crazy chick, Jessica. Yeah. Uh, I, they would have definitely been more professional. Like, because, you know. If people, he was talking to anyone, like, reliable. Yeah. And if he was just calling up It Works, like, their corporate office they're not going to say oh that crazy chick jessica no no <laughs> their Again. words are his remember cite yeah. your sources deal yeah yeah i i would love to know that <laughs> yeah yeah ridiculous i'm in meetings we don't know who she is and, and again i think that's another extreme i have no doubt that she was involved and it works. I have no doubt. And and she probably did become whatever she said she became, at least for one month, a diamond or a double diamond. But 
Uh, and I think at one point she said she was making 7000 a month or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I was just really just trying to do a little bit of, of research and trying to figure out, you know, where are these people coming from and, and, and watch several different uh, YouTubers just to try to get a real base. This comment's or, killing me. What is it? What's, what's their grief? And I understand we're all flawed human beings. I mean, when I joined network marketing, I, there's no way in the world I was the most least likely to succeed to ever enter this profession, living in a small little 600 square. The most least likely, but a white male. No words? I have none house driving a beat up Chevy Chevette. Yeah. I had no chance in the world of going on to make millions and millions of dollars and seeing so many people's lives change in a positive way. Network marketing, and this is what I would say to Miss Hickson and everybody else, you know, because the, her whole thing is, you know, I lied to people and I had to manipulate people and I had to do that. I had to, had to, had to. No, you didn't have to. As I said in my first video, it, if somebody tells you to jump off a bridge, do you jump off a bridge? And and now, now let's start using logical fallacies to back up our point. Anyone want to say anything or want to keep going? Um, I'll first say that I never say that like somebody made me do anything. However, it is my belief that you cannot get to the top of an MLM or make any type of substantial income without manipulating and deceiving people. Like there's no possible way because if you were honest with people about how much money you were making, they wouldn't join your team. So you have to stretch the truth, if you will. I yeah. think we found his trigger. That's what I would like to say. Yeah. What do you, what is it? I think his trigger is the fact that we say that we ha had to do things to keep going, which just like Jessica said, was stretching the truth. And I think that that is very triggering for him. And that's where this kind of, he says that Jessica is responding with an emotional response. That's not accurate in my opinion. I think that his whole response is an emotional trigger for him because he's like, Either he sees that he's done that and it's cognitive dissonance kind of, you know, creeping up or I don't know. I don't know. I also think he doesn't want us bringing light to the fact that it's impossible to get to the top without doing those things because he's teaching the opposite, you know, like he's trying to convince people like just keep pushing forward, you know, with enough personal development, you'll be able to do it. But that's not possible. And he doesn't want us to like reveal that. Yeah. yeah. We're affecting his paycheck. Yes. Yeah. By the way, thanks, Julie. <laughs> I know. I just saw oh, that. So sweet. Network marketing doesn't make you lie, cheat, steal, and belittle people. That was already in you before you joined the network marketing company. And the anti MLM content on YouTube that you that people put out should be obvious that it's not an it's not it's not a network marketing issue with anybody it's a character issue it's a character issue it's a character issue i'm sorry i keep stopping it one dale you said it once yeah we get it <laughs> i'm sorry if i seem rude i am i'm unhappy with how he's treating jessica um also it's as if he hasn't heard of what a cult is it's as if he hasn't heard the bite model it's like it's like as if he's not educated. If I I recommend Dale to sit down and read the bite model and compare it. Now he probably hasn't had the same experience that we've had just because he's a white male who was successful early on in MLMs and he wants that early on those tactics to come back. Mm -hmm. Not so much social media, but but my I think that even if he saw those things it wouldn't even register with him because you'll see later on, he um, recommends an article for all of us to read. And we should definitely like go to the article when we get to that point, because it's very ironic to me, like reading that article, my mind goes straight to it to a T describes top leaders in MLMs like perfectly. I, I was saying to one of my friends, I was like, 
if he would have given me this article when I was doing my like top five series, I would have been able to use it for like the top five characteristics of a top MLM leader because it is to a T. So I don't think it even crosses his mind. It's like in one year out the other. It doesn't apply to him. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, I have to say just really quickly, I had to pin this comment and I know that it covers Jessica's face. This is the only layout <laughs> we can use. I'm not trying to cover Jessica's face. However, I think that this comment is very significant and needed to be shared. So thank you for that, Marcus. And Jessica, you know, we're not doing that like on purpose. Yeah. I'm here for you. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Sweet. Let's keep going. You with individuals. Yes. Yes. Has network marketing gotten further and further and further and further and further away from the core fundamentals, which made it the most unbelievable mm -hmm. opportunity in the history of the world? Absolutely. Positively. I've been talking about it since 1999. Of course it has. But network marketing just takes on the character of the distributor. To blame network marketing, to blame the business model on the flaws of human beings is ridiculous. And the awesome part about network marketing, it's the greatest personal development. As if human beings didn't make it. The world. And it can also, can we pause it real quick? Balance. Yeah. The common denominator with like shitty people, of course, you have shitty people all over, but what, like, what profession do you know that? has such a problem with shitty people like shitty people being called out what other industry are shitty people always being called out none because the mlm industry the one common denominator is the business structure so if it yeah. was a people problem we would have this problem with every industry absolutely great point once that get off till and understand that you can have anything in life you want if you help enough other people get what they want. Get your focus off yourself and on other people. <laughs> Some people do not have the ability to do that. Jessica is, ex is a prime example. Many of the current YouTubers are prime examples. Their focus today is on one thing, their pocketbook. <laughs> and again, most of you should see my bank account. Right? Guess what? I, I paid $5 from TikTok last month. Oh, shoot. High roller I there. Even, I couldn't even take it out of TikTok. <laughs> I have to wait yeah. for it to grow. I think that, like, I think that people who say that we make this content for the money think that we're just, like, rolling in the dough. They think that money is just, like, flowing in from this. If only they knew. <laughs> I think he's telling on himself. Yeah. I think people and uh, I, I think people with similar traits to what it appears Dale has, I want to be very careful in my word choices. I think those types of people have a tendency to project onto other people, but they're really kind of, and we see this a lot of the times with some of these top MLM leaders, they say, well, they're projecting or they're haters or they're this or they're that. And it's really them kind of telling on themselves and all we have to do is sit here and listen just like we're doing so i yeah. think it's dale telling on himself i think that I, and i know this i know the anti-mlm community and the movement is having an impact on mlms the word is getting out people you know it, it's it, this movement is growing every single day and it's probably impacting his pocketbook and that's yeah. another trigger for him in my opinion yeah. Also, another point to be made is that our subscribers, we're not getting paid by our subscribers. Our subscribers have to do nothing to listen to us talk. So we're not, you know, preying on all these people who are in vulnerable places because they just left their MLM. Like we're not gaining anything from them. We're gaining our money from YouTube. And a lot of times from MLM companies who are paying YouTube to advertise. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. And the, and like sometimes people try to use the argument, oh, they have merch. Oh, they have affiliate links. Um, you can choose to purchase the merch or not. And we usually make merch because we're asked to make the merch. That's yeah. not even, we don't have to recruit people to come and join our merch shop and sell our merch so that we can. And 
they give us money to buy a product. We ship them the product and it ends there. They're not paying for an opportunity with the understanding that this is going to make a living for them and then not getting it. Yes, absolutely. It's just, that, that argument always gets me. I'm like, yep. you like, you like hip, you like hop, skip, jump, catapulted over the entire point. Yeah. Of what we're talking about. Oh yeah. And I made that point in, in my latest video, I was like a lot of times when people try to like, like, I don't know, come at the anti MLM community for whatever reason they deflect and they act like they think yeah. the problem is something else. Like, I think it, it maybe could be this, but like, that's not true when they know damn well what the problem is. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> so funny the anti-MLM crowd people were involved in one company and experienced just enough to be dangerous to themselves and others living in a world of self-pity. And again, I've talked oh, about shit, we're so dangerous, many times over the years and still do on different podcasts. Did a whole series on the different rabbit holes. Good people find themselves going down in network marketing if they're not careful and how they can become uh, if, the, if they're not careful, they can get into a mode where they become uh, not the people they were designed to become within this profession. Uh, I've talked about that many times. I've talked about in the, in the beginning of the series that network marketing is the most misunderstand business model on the planet, not by the general public, but by the people within the profession. I would tell you that Jessica never had a clue, never had a clue on how to correctly build a productive, growing, duplicating network marketing team. Never had a chance. Never had a chance. I don't know if she didn't get the training or she just didn't listen to it. I don't know. Never had a chance, but was a triple that's, diamond. That's the norm. Yeah. That's the norm. Yep. I'm not, you know, picking on anybody in particular. It's just the way that it is. Some I'm not picking on anyone in particular. It really bothers me. But I'm saying really just his name behind the curtain on over and over this whole anti MLM niche. Some like to point out perceived perceived misjustices to profit from victims, and 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 they like to a, a lot of victims try to seek a tribe who don't want. Do you guys or, feel or like he is like describing wanna, like MLM? 110 percent like this is something that i would say about mlms that they like target people with misjustices to profit off of victims who are seeking a tribe or a community yeah, absolutely like and some i tried to make this point i think in some other live like we are not like an mlm tribe we're not like a tribe necessarily we're just people who agree on the same thing yeah we're, we advocate for certain things some of us have our niche inside of MLM, even like in anti MLM, even sorry, my husband's walking in, but yeah, like we're not like a group of people who make money off of each other. We're not transactional. Yeah. It's not that. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. I have to accept any kind of personal responsibility and we can talk about many different niches as it relates to this, not just network marketing. I mean, we can talk about political organizations and all types of other organizations, which we won't. And my whole, my whole thing that I really I hope that people that waste their waste lives, lives watching these anti-MLM videos understand, it's like, get it out of your system, get over it and move on. Living your life as a victim is unhealthy. Meanwhile, he's over here victimizing a pool of people that are already being victimized by an MLM as a coach. I need somebody to make this make sense. Also, the fact that he says that he watched 10 hours of our videos. If he did, he would know that Aaron reacts to her own videos. I react to my own videos and we take full responsibility for the decisions that we yes. made while we were in. Do we think we would have made those in, in our right mind? Probably not. But we take full responsibility for them. And that's why we're sharing them with other people so they don't do the same thing. 
So yeah. for him to be like, they don't want to take any personal responsibility. He clearly did not watch any of our videos. Get it out, get over it and move on. Yeah. Because he doesn't want all of these little things behind the scenes exposed. He wants us to just say our piece and leave so that nobody knows what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. I just cannot believe he said that. Like, that he... For me, if you listen to 10 hours of our stories, you would know that people are legitimately hurt in multiple ways by MLMs. And so for him to just say, get it out, get over it, move on, go. Yeah. What? Honestly, it's a lot deeper than that. And I don't think he realizes that. Yeah. I think if he just listened to our first why we left our company, companies video, that would be all it took for him to kind of understand like where we're coming from. Just those first videos alone, you know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And there are people right now today that are listening to my voice that are victims of network marketing. And you know what? Five, 10, 15, 20 years from now, they'll wake up every single day, their foot hits the ground, and they'll be a victim of network marketing. That's the tragedy of all of this. That's what? the real tragedy of all of this. I can't express it enough. Here's an article I dare you to read if I just talk to you. I dare you to read it. It's called 13 Surprising Traits of Predatory oh. People That You Might Just Overlook. And I'm going to put the link in the description wherever you hear this, whether it's on the podcast or YouTube, wherever it is. I'll put the link because you need to read it. And it it's it'll be an awakening for many of you, is my hope. And Aaron, you want to pull that up and get it ready on your end? They are masters at exploitation. They've made you believe you're incomplete without them. Let me say that again. <laughs> They've made you believe you're incomplete without them. I'm sorry, but all of you are incomplete without me. You cannot live your life without Julie Joe. It's just so ironic to me that everything that he's saying lines up with like an MLM. Like they try to make you believe that the only way to a happy, successful life is in the MLM. Yet he's flipping that around and saying that that's how we're making people feel. Do you guys feel like I'm looking at the chat like they can see me? Do you guys feel like uh, we make you feel like you can't live without us? Let us know. I just, I just wonder where it comes from. Like, how do you, how do you get there to that destination? I think the narrative, he's trying to switch the narrative in my opinion. Oh right? yeah. Um, he's trying to gaslight, flip it. 100%. All right. I just sent you a text, JJ. They long for this kind of dependence. You depending upon them. They long for this kind of dependence. They thrive when you're the messed up one and they are the savior. Now, guys, if that doesn't describe the anti MLM, I'm your savior, y'all. Your savior. What does? That's exactly what I see on every video out there. And again, I don't want to spend too much time here, but I do want to share this from Martin Luther King because he had it right. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Only light can do that. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. So yes, there's things, there's dark things in network marketing without question. But focusing on that every single day and trying to find more and more darkness that you can share with people is not the answer. Their real motive is to profit with merch, <laughs> membership, and YouTube views. Every time you watch them, they make money on YouTube. That's their focus. Most people are smart enough to understand that that's the real motive behind these anti MOMers, but some aren't. But some people just are not smart enough to understand what's really going on behind the curtain. 
So now people who agree with anti millimers aren't smart. I was just going to say nothing like trying to sway somebody with an insult. <laughs> Are you, that whole section. And since Savannah's face. <laughs> <laughs> I love, love her thumbnails. so much. I love her thumbnails so much. <laughs> I love her. Oh my god. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. If you didn't know, you're just not smart enough. From Dale. Dale just said that. I don't know what to tell you. I cannot believe he said that. How, like you said, what a way to sway someone. Yeah. <sighs> And I know most of you that listen to this podcast, at least, understand that. To those of you that are participating in this and doing the videos, your intelligence. Can we just read the quote at good. the top? Your intelligence can be used for good. You don't have to attempt to profit from the ignorant. So anyone who watches our videos. Sorry, guys. You're ignorant. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> Sorry for you. <laughs> there is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. What does that have to do with anything, though? <laughs> I don't know. I think he just wanted to put a, a quote. <laughs> Jessica's face. What does that have to do with any of this? It doesn't. I think saw a rugged white man and was like, oh, Ernest Hemingway, that sounds some like someone I know. Yeah. Had to that was that. like one, uh, I forget what video it was, but they quoted uh, L. Ron Hubbard's uh, nie or nephew. I'm like, really? You're trying to tell me that you're not a cult and you're going to quote L. Ron Hubbard's <laughs> nephew. <laughs> Got it. Yikes. You don't have to attempt to profit from the ignorant. You don't have to attempt to profit from the ignorant. There's nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. It's from Ernest Hemingway. Some no, he sells really cough drops or something like really that. <laughs> but for real. Yeah, like for real, for real. Like for real, for real. Cough drops, something like that. <laughs> they look like cough drops. <laughs> cough drops, something like that. I'm pretty sure is the title of it. But, but you know, yeah. it's the right time. Right timing in the market. Right company. <laughs> really talented people doing videos in the anti-network marketing niche that are oh. wasting their time. Wait, 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 wait. So now we're really talented? But Ew. ignorant and also third graders and also little girls, but also talented. Really talented? <laughs> Dale, I was really sad about the third grader thing, but now you think I'm talented? Oh, and wait, wait let's not forget that he said that we're in our 30s. For me, that's a compliment because I'm 41. <laughs> so thanks, Dale. Go for me. Go for me. I'm 25. <laughs> I just where? Dale, just pick a spot and and stay in the spot. <laughs> I also <laughs> would like to note that that goes through my mind when talking about people in MLMs. I'm like, if only they knew the potential they have on the outside, like they're wasting their potential in this MLM and just like treading water, not getting anywhere when yeah. they could be doing so much more with their time and talents on the outside. 100. 100. <laughs> Do you see I mean, Julie's, Julie's husband? Just Ryan Ryan said, said, I love that guy. Hi, Julie's husband, husband, husband here. So that's a that's a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, thank you for that. <laughs> we appreciate you. Weird flex. Talent providing no value to nobody. No matter what you're fooling yourself and telling yourself. You know, I've always said, "Give us one year, we'll change your life." Network marketing is the best personal development program on the planet. And 
the reality is if people really get plugged into sorry i need myself 50 percent of people drop out of their company after one year so give us one year and we'll change your life mm, i'm gonna say probably not but he'll tell you that because he gets paid if you let him change your life and he already which i didn't even mention earlier i meant to he already said that if you like sign up with him, then he can guarantee you X amount of money in your first year, which first of all, you can't make claims, but yeah, for those fizzy sticks that I drink, <laughs> Rachel, I love you. If you didn't know I was an Arbon, and the fizz sticks is like, you know, the thing. Yeah. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> Network marketing. And, and if they're with the, the right, right company, company, with the right team at the right time, they're going to come out better, even if they don't succeed financially. They're going to be, be better people. And I could sit here and tell you story after story of people that we've had the honor and the pleasure to work with over the years that, for whatever reason. Uh, Wait, so because the three of us and everybody else watching, those of us that were in an MLM were better, better people, but because now we're anti MLM and sharing our experiences and exposing we're, companies, we're not good people. Yeah. We're shit excuses for human beings now. We're bitter. Better or bitter? That sounds like something Prove It would say. Anyone heard that word before? You're just bitter. Oh, yeah, all the time. to get into what just happened you're muted and i could sit here and take thank you thank you <laughs> story after story of people that we've had the honor and the pleasure to work with over the years that for whatever reason uh network marketing financially was not a windfall for them, but they were able to progress in other, many other areas in their life. I, I, I always talk about a young man I met in Shackley, Greg Stegner and, and Greg, you know, he was, he was a lumber salesman and, you know, we got him plugged into the magic of thinking big at the personal development aspect. He became an assistant supervisor, which means he had some work ethic and leadership. It wasn't a high rank, but he, he was able to rank up and move forward. And then his work transferred him, and he was moved outside of the Lexington, Kentucky area where we were at the time, and we lost contact. About 10, 11 years later, I'm in Lexington. I'm at a Sam's Club or somewhere. And this guy comes up to me and he says, are you Dale Calvert? And I said, yeah. And he held out his hand. He said, Greg. And I didn't know him. And he said, Greg Stegner. And I said, Greg Stegner, Shackley. And it, it clicked. And he said, I can't believe I ran into you. He said, Vicki and I were just talking about you. We, we've come back here to visit her, her parents. And we were on our, on our way back. We were driving, you know, we were driving back up here and we were thinking, where would our life be if we had not met Dale Calvert? He said, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Where, what, where is this story going? Where met, would my life be if I didn't know Dale? After he got relocated as a lumber salesman, but he said today, it's I own three lumber yards uh, in Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. And he said, it never would have happened if you had not expose me to the personal development aspect of what the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve and so on and so forth. And I could go on and on and that's not the purpose. It's the number one personal development program in the world and people that cannot extend. He's pitching himself. Yeah. Pitching the program. Yeah. That wow. That become bitter. The people that do and get plugged in become better. And you can, you can see that over and over again because it comes back to right here 
Let me find it. I've already showed it. It comes back to this. See, a lot of people come into network marketing and they've been through horrific childhoods. They've had a tough life, you know, because of parents, society, and authority figures. By the time you're 12 years old, you're programmed. And then you reinforce that programming with your own self-talk. I'm worthless. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. It'll never happen for me. I'm always going to be poor. You have all this junk that has been programmed in your mind by the time you're I didn't know he was a therapist. You reinforce that (laughs) as you get older and older. So when you're exposed to network marketing and you see uh, and you hear all these things, it's like it's a direct conflict against your existing programming in your brain. And it creates a lot of frustration, aggravation, and, 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 and bad feelings. And you get in what's called the whirlpool. And that whirlpool is trying to continually suck you back to where you feel comfortable, which is the programming you had when you were 12 years old. And again, I don't have time to get into all this, and I'm not going to. But, but again, Please don't, Dale. you were never really taught this and never really understood self-talk, <gasps> uh, neuroplasticity, the, the grooves in your mind, and how to scientifically and emotionally work through this. I didn't know he was a scientist. Failing. He's the jack of all trades. Ah, uh, makes sense. It's probably part of his course. Seems like it. In network marketing, leaving and being bitter. And the sad part is you're going to be bitter for most of your life. You'll be bitter for most of your life. Oh. So let's just let's just do this. I, I, and I'm, I'm wrapping up, but I, I got to show you. Guys, has he even gotten into one of the six points no. yet? I'm okay. wrapping up, but I'm 32 minutes in with another... 30 to go. Oh my God. All right. All right. I, I feel like we should check in with everybody. How are y'all doing? Are you guys? Like- we really should have made this into a drinking game. Oh my God. Let us know in the comments if you are okay. We still can. I don't have any alcohol here. Me neither, but if, if they want to. Yeah. There's yeah. an idea. Every time he gaslights, a shot or a sip. <laughs> he said, We're dying in here. <laughs> we need booze. <laughs> no, I'm dead. <laughs> Every time he pitches himself or brings himself up or has a story about himself, that's two sips. Every My bad. He, he name drops his own name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's taking self promotion to a whole nother level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Okay. Um. see the point i'm trying to make and 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 you'll see she totally ignores it she totally ignores it with the straight face it's like she doesn't even hear what's being said and i'm trying to explain look i'm on your side i and i accept the fact that there's been a lot of things that have gone on in this profession that should have never gone on i've been talking about it since 1999 at the time this was recorded a couple months before that i'd done a whole podcast session on predatory mlm so yes i i understand tell me you're stuck in the past grievance. without telling me okay i do i i have this is like this is like the high school quarterback that's talking about the big play from the game, like 20 years, like the balding, no offense, the balding white guy that still wears the letterman jacket. That's like, dude, I totally, I totally threw that bullet past you. Like it was so sick. You caught it in the air. Da, 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 I was so awesome. Yep. You're like, bro, that was like 25 years ago. Like, what have you done since then? Absolutely do. And I'm going to, I'm going to click and let you hear our comments here, but then here's what I want you to really pay attention to. So that's the first part that you'll hear where she just totally ignores it. That I just shared what I've just shared about the scam in 99 and predatory MLM and go back and look at any of my history. Again, I was the original anti MLM. Go back and listen to it. But then 
Yeah. This is what blows my mind. She starts spewing the most illogical rant, illogical rant about how in network marketing, the people for the people at the top to make money, then the majority of people have to fail. I mean, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty solid, Jessica. That's awesome. That's very illogical of me to say. Is it Where's illogical, that? or does Where's he why? just, or does he just not want to admit that there's been studies done by the FTC and the AARP that actually back and that up? Those are you, the sources. Yeah, if you pull up literally any income disclosure statement, it will tell you that the majority of the people have to be failing in order for people at the top to make money. Dale, buddy, it's so bizarre that you have to hear it for yourself to even believe that it's even possible for anybody that's ever been around the network marketing and understands basic team building concepts to come to these conclusions, but she's not the only one. So let's listen. I'll be right back. <clears throat> if you've heard me talk about on podcasts, the number one, the number one mistake, good people. I was using Google Analytics and hated it. With a Reby, I can create any funnel. Here's Dale lining my pockets. Full time too soon. And everybody that listens to our podcast knows when should you go full time? When you are making a thousand dollars more a month part time than you are in your full time job, and you do that for three consecutive months. Y'all have heard me say that. Many, many different Yeah, I, I don't disagree with and that. <laughs> I, I got grief over this podcast that I did recently on predatory MLM, where, again, I'm calling out the, what's happening in this profession. So, you know, Jessica's whole thing is he doesn't understand. He doesn't know what's going on. He hasn't watched anything. And and, and she, you know, again, closely, guys. This will your if mind. she had shown the whole video, are people watch the entire is he trying to talk over himself yeah, yeah. <laughs> we want you all to know the answer is yes okay okay you guys if he actually knew what was going on he wouldn't be confused as to why we're griping and complaining he wouldn't even be referring to it as griping and complaining if he had actually watched anything that the then why did I do a podcast called Predatory MOM? Did you hear me? <laughs> did you hear him, Jessica? <laughs> I heard him loud and clear. <laughs> My MLM movement has posted. Good God. Oh, it this is going to be a long video. It would video. be beyond obvious that I understand exactly what's happening, why the profession is where it is, I understand it. I don't blame people for feeling the way they do. So why are you mad about my it? My problem is to lump Here's everybody the in the same boat oh. and saying everybody is doing it wrong and every Yes, because Dale. Okay guys, listen closely to this rhetoric. Listen very closely. Here's the thing. MLMs would not exist if the majority of people weren't failing. What? The only reason that they're they're a um, a successful business structure for the people at the top is because the majority of people are failing. If more people were succeeding, the business structure would fail. So it's a requirement for the majority of people within the MLM to fail in order for the business structure to exist. That's a problem. That makes them all the same because they all have to take advantage of the majority of people within the MLM. Okay. Company, company is a scam, scam and, all and all the products, products are, ripping are ripping off customers, customers and, everything and everything else that these people, people are saying. saying it, it just, just makes, makes people. people this is an echo from his video. It's not us. I just wanted to clarify. We will get through it together. It's echoing on his end. Oh, thank you, Randy. Sound like whiny, naive idiots. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. So you guys heard it, you know, I, I couldn't have made that kind of stuff up. I, I couldn't. So let's just get into the same things. <laughs> no, Dale, I don't think you could have. Make these people when are we going to actually get into a deal? Unbelievable, off the wall, ridiculous. Muted. After 37 minutes in. MLM structure would fail if people, if everybody succeeded. The only way <sighs> people to fail. I mean, that is so bizarre that I don't even know how to even try to. It's like, <laughs> do I try to explain common? Dale, fix your mic. <laughs> Please get a mic. Common sense and basic network marketing practices. It's like, and she's not the only one that spews this. Okay, let's read it. <clears throat> Jesse, you want to read it? Sure. The entire anti-MLF movement is built upon sand, false information. Number one, for the people on the on top to make money, everyone else must lose money or it doesn't work. Not true in the real world. This business is not a mathematical <laughs> formula. It is a business vehicle just like a franchise, an eBay business, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Using mathematics in an attempt to prove a business model is not valid. <laughs> and then coming to the conclusion that most people must fail for it to work is ridiculous, illogical, and not true. One persona says it's says it, and then the parrots start repeating it, and they all sound like bitter fools. Wait. So if you're not supposed to use math in a business formula, <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm... <laughs> I don't need to laugh. But... Wait, wait, wait. So does that mean like a profit and loss statement is incorrect? Yeah, yeah that's illogical. You're not allowed to do that. That must Invalid. be Sorry. coming through. Is, is using mathematics in an attempt to prove a business model is not valid and then coming to the conclusion that most people must fail for it to work is ridiculous, illogical, and not true. I'm trying to track. You know, I'm trying to go, where did he get... The only reason he's saying this is because the math shows that it's a bad idea to do. Yeah. Like, what else would you use to prove a business model, valid or not, so, other than statistics? Yeah, so he's a therapist... A scientist, but not a mathematician. Nope, not for him. Well, would that also exclude analytics on his YouTube videos? Because that's math, right? Listen, I think. Where did the people at the top start? Well, Skyler, if Skyler Lambert, in my opinion, started at the top of Ariel under the CEOs. But and I think. I think that the the issue is that they're forgetting to take into account. Like, there's always this argument. You don't have to get in early to be successful, but you have to get in early of a specific, like, burst within the company, like a specific yeah. movement. Like, it goes through, you know, ebbs and flows, but you have to get in when they're at their peak in order to be successful. So for instance, like there's someone, a lot of people at the top of it works who they didn't get in. Like when the company started, they got in like eight years after, but eight years after is when social media was kicking off and that totally mm -hmm. changed the entire industry. So they did get in early to the social media movement part of it, which was huge, which is basically better than getting in early to the actual company. Yeah. 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 And then a lot of times it depends on their circumstance of, are they already an influencer? Do they have a lot of followers? Um, yeah. I mean, didn't he kind of admit this? Cause he said at the beginning, right company, right timing. Yeah. yeah. Right company, right time. Yep. Have that written down. I appreciate your note taking. You're amazing. No problem. We'll keep going if we can hear him. But, but I'm going to do my best, not for any of the podcast listeners, not for anybody that understands anything about marketing, business, uh, not for any logical thinking person. 
I'm just trying to do this for people that have really drank this Kool-Aid. And that's the only reason. And I'll do it as clearly as possible because I kind of understand how they've come to the conclusion that they've come to, but it's such, it's based upon such false, false, not in the real world. Yeah, math. It's based on math and statistics. Solid. But Dale doesn't believe in that, so it makes sense why he doesn't believe it's true. Yeah. Realities. For the people on top to make money, everyone else must lose money or it doesn't work. Okay, it's not true, and it's not true in the real world. This business is not a mathematical formula. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It's not a mathematical formula. It's a business vehicle, just like a franchise an eBay business or whatever, using mathematics in an attempt to prove a business model is not valid. <laughs> what? Straight from his own mouth. Network marketing. And then coming to the conclusion, to whoever came to this conclusion, that most people must fail for it to work is ridiculous. <laughs> Illogical. Your companies came to that conclusion. That's what I was about to say. Do you know how we got that conclusion, Dale? <laughs> we look at the income disclosure statements. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to, to get there to the point. Math isn't real, though, y'all. Dale mm -hmm. really doesn't think so. I'd like to know what he wants us to use to validate whether a business is successful or whatnot. My okay, guess so, is personal development. Because that, that puts money in people's bank account when they're running a business. Yeah. And okay. him. Him. He's a source. Yeah. The source. source. Yeah. Because, you know, he's citing all of the sources so well. Well done. Starry Night said math is witchcraft. It is not true. <laughs> And, and and this is the foundation on which all these anti-MLM people talk, want to talk about. And, and, and it's like one person must have said it, and now they all sound like parrots trying to repeat it, and they all sound like... Dale, it's not... It, we're not just all repeating something that an anti-MLM content creator said. One, the income disclosure statements come from the company. Then there's the FTC, then there's the SEC, and then there's also the AARP article that just came out. The, we're not just like making stuff up. Those are the sources. Yeah. They're fools. It, it makes no sense. Now, I'm trying to figure out how could any sane person come to this conclusion? And for years, and I know there's different videos out there, and, and the object, and this is where I think it comes from. I think the objection is, well, if if five people get five, who get five, who get five, then within 33 days, the entire population of the world has been sponsored. I think that's the fundamental mathematical mentality. This is part of the deflecting that, that I was talking about earlier. That, they, that that is built upon, I think. So, so therefore, nobody can make money except the people at the top because it's, it's flawed. Because if five get five, get five, get five, then at some point the whole world has been sponsored and now the people that came in last are screwed. That's kind of the mentality. Okay. Network marketing has been around reality. Okay. Here's the reality. Okay. Can we pause it real quick? Network marketing has been around. 
I think he knows, but just to clarify in case he does watch this, that's not what we mean by that. We don't mean that you're going to run out of people to recruit ever like this. They will probably be around forever. But what we mean by it is the fact that in order for those top people to make money, the income disclosure statement proves that the 98% beneath them are either losing money or breaking even with their auto shipments and that. So it's not that you're going to run out of people. That's not what we're saying with they wouldn't exist without, you know, right? Yeah, okay. Since 1934, has any company ever become saturated? Yes. Huh? Where everybody in the world was yes. involved in that company. No. Will any company ever become saturated? No. Then what are you talking about? He doesn't even yeah, math, guys. No, Dale, what are you talking about? Math doesn't exist. So it can't become saturated if the limit does not exist. Math doesn't exist. The earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, somebody said, are we still on point one? I don't think we've even... Oh, yeah. Okay, we are on point one. We're good. We've gotten to point one. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Started from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> all of this together i know it's hard to get through but we're getting through it because dale really wants to hear it so let's <laughs> we'll get through it talking about it's impossible it's in, it will never happen so to base your whole foundation on a mathematical illogical lie makes you sound <laughs> like you don't have any common sense at all. It's never happened. It will never happen. Dale, you literally said math is not a thing in business. And you think we don't have common sense. I don't mean to be mean or rude, but I just want to clarify that he said math and business don't go together. But we lack common sense. Yeah. We have the logic of a third grader, which by the yeah. way, they have great logic still. They're smart. They're funny. They're cute. But oh my gosh. And guess what else they learn as third graders? It's Math. It's not going to happen. <laughs> yes, this is true. And, and I don't know if they just keep repeating it without thinking no. about it or, or, or what. But this is that's ridiculous. I have said for many years, the more credible the company, the less of an upside income potential exists with that company. Those of you who listen to my podcast or have heard me trainings over the years, I've said it five thousand times. The more credible the company, the less of an upside income potential exists with that company. And I've always used Amway as an example. I, and I said, you know, somebody may be able to come into Amway today and have an unbelievable work ethic and extreme high credibility, and they may be able in the United States possibly to build it to $100,000 a year. Will they build it to a half a million or a million dollars a year? Probably not. Now compare that to a startup. Uh, a startup has tremendous upside income potential, but the, the, the chances of the startup going out of business is highly likely. So again, there's a balance and, and you have to have basic understanding of business and team building and people to figure out where's the best place to spend your time, energy, and effort. And most 99% of the people that join network marketing never have that. Now, just one other thing, and I want everybody listening to this to ask yourself this, because <laughs> you just have to understand this. 
where did the people at the top start? Where did the people at the top, they always want to talk about the people at the top, the people at the top, the people at the top. They sound like parrots. Where did the people He's at triggered. the top start? Everybody starts the, the, the same place. How do you get to the top? By building a team of people. Yeah. That's how you get to the top. You don't just land. Oh, they're, they're special. We're they're not refuting that. The they went to work and built a team. How do you do that? Do you understand? You don't just land at the top. We're aware. We were there. <laughs> I understand. All of us were. All three of us. Some companies nowadays, they have master distributors. And, and again, I've thrown that whole philosophy and concept under the bus so many times, and many of you know, so I'm not even going to try to repeat it here. But the bottom line is, this is, see, when I was at IBM in Lexington, Kentucky, working on the assembly line, <laughs> What was the chances oh, of me ever yeah. building myself up to a management level where I can make a hundred thousand? Y'all, that's like two shots right there. Money. He's talking about himself again. It wasn't going to happen. It was not going to happen. We better it's see some slurred speech here pride. soon. <laughs> average people with, average, with above average desire, the average to create wealth like no other business model that's ever been on the planet, period, <laughs> end of story. That's the truth. I think it, it's profession. like the worst and it just keeps going. I'm like, it is. It just gets worse. And <laughs> just for the record, network marketing organizations, corporate America is shaped like a pyramid. The Catholic <laughs> Church is shaped like a pyramid. All structures, all business organizations, you name them, they're all shaped like. They'll do all. They'll. Do all organizations, all business structures require you to recruit, literally recruiting competition? And, and the money, the distribution, the distribution of the money in MLMs is down up. But in corporate America and, and other companies, it's up, down. Mm -hmm. It's opposite. Also, can I call you Dillard? <laughs> <laughs> Dellard, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to track with you, my pal. <laughs> it's not tracking. The math is not mathing. Math is Dale not is not tracking. We're well, not tracking, Dale. I'm really struggling here. <laughs> We're only on number one. I don't think I have enough snacks Except for this. Yeah. Network marketing. Network marketing. Look at any genealogy of 10,000 plus people. They're all shaped like diamonds. It's a diamond shape structure. It's not a pyramid. It's Wait, a what? Shape. It's a diamond stretch. It's a diamond structure. That's the natural formulation of a network marketing team. Again, that's a whole nother topic. Geometry. He doesn't get oh, it. Oh boy, please explain your diamond structure. It's a whole nother topic. But if you're going to make a statement, please explain. Also, Diamond and pyramid, I mean. It... But where does that, the bottom half come from? Are you guys holding up gang signs? Is, <laughs> is this a gang sign I was not aware of? I'm not trying to, but. <laughs> if you're going to say something like that, uh, I'm going to need you to go ahead and explain it. Can somebody cite his sources, please? Thank you. Somebody else. Look up and look up MLM diamond shape. <laughs> I did it again, Aaron. <coughs> What'd you do? I clicked, I tried to click the play button, but I clicked the time thing instead. Can oh. you put it back to the right time? Or do, should I? No, go, you have to wait. I don't know where. Number four. I got where... it. Number two. Oh. I got it. Okay, let's start from there. Guys, I'm tired. Homegrown <clears throat> leaders helping people move forward. The whole premise, the whole focus of this business is to help other people get what they want. Your income is in direct proportion to the number of leaders that are developed on your team. 
not the number of people that you can get to to buy product every month. See, that level of thinking is so shallow. And it's like, do they really just not get it? And and again, and I'm speaking, of, but it's all of them. But it's like Jessica was trying to monkey around with the comp plan so she can make the most next month and never had it. Did she never have any vision of what she was really trying to do? Was she never taught? Is Are people not being taught at any level what this thing is really all about today? I don't know. Number two, they hate personal development. Uh, in general, you know, they're throwing Tony Robbins or Zig literally Zig all or of our Cameron faces just now. Mary Kay or whoever they can under the bus. Mary Kay? Anti, anti is she a personal, personal developer? developer? <laughs> she's going to want us all to wear nothing but skirts. And, and see, I don't care what you're involved with. Uh, I think personal development in all aspects of life, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, socially, it's good. I talk about the wheel of life. Whatever your profession is, I believe that personal development is important. The beautiful part about network marketing, see, I could I could read The Magic of Thinking Big, and I could read, and I could listen to Dr. Wayne Dyer and Les Brown, and, and, and you know, if you're working in a corporate structure, you can read all the personal development books and listen to the audio tapes, but and you can apply yourself and it'll make you a better person, but you're still waiting for somebody to retire or die before you can progress and move forward. Network marketing gives you the opportunity to progress every single week, every single month, and you really build and grow and, and have something. You can't you grow outside of network marketing, though. But these people, why are they so anti personal development? Here's why. <laughs> Because if you believe in personal development, then you have to believe that you have some control. You cannot, you can no longer blame others. That's Dale. If by you the way. accept the fact that you are worried you about your life because of what's gone into your mind, and the only way to change where you are is to change what goes into your mind. If you accept that, then you have to take responsibility. And in general, the people that are in general, you know, some people are doing it for education, but after you've been educated and you've come to your conclusion, the people that continue to watch over and over and be watching these stupid videos 10 years from now are the people that never wanted to have to take responsibility. That's the truth. Number three, they act like this never happened. They act like... I have to answer this. I'm sorry. Lisa, yes, I am wearing an Empire beanie. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> they don't they 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 won't even admit the fact that network marketing has helped more average people with above average desire create financial He says that line in his sleep for sure. Model on the planet. Has it done that much in the last 10, 15, 20 years? No. It hasn't. Why? Oh. Why hasn't it? Because of everything, everything that they talk about in the anti-MLM <laughs> movement. Man, I'm with them. I'm with them. I sincerely am with them. But does that mean that the, that it's that all networking <coughs> companies are bad? No, it does not. If you're intelligent, if you know how to evaluate companies, no. There's some awesome opportunities out there awesome opportunities out there that can be built today. There's some four and five star companies out there that can be built today. If you have the right <laughs> structure, if you understand, you know, your the proper mindset and your sets. Most don't, most never will. But to act like this never happened removes all credibility. Number four. They oh, we're on number four. That there's a proven investigation process to follow before oh. joining an MLM company. They didn't follow it, and most don't. They read some social media post of somebody, you know, and you name the company, and so that's how they decided to, to join it. It's like business people don't get involved. These are in very valid reasons. Deal, what are you talking about, bro?
<laughs> we saw a Facebook post and decided to join. We didn't do the investigation process before joining. What process? Is that going to be like exhibit? I don't exhibit. I don't even know of your presentation, Dale. Like, what are you talking about? Dale, I have six points. One hour, 15 minute video <sighs> talks about the six points in 20 minutes. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am at this point, I'm just like, wow. 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 Oh, yeah. That's a good point, too, Lisa. She said you're not supposed to investigate. You're supposed to jump in. Like, don't question. Just jump right in. So yeah. absolutely. I don't know what he's talking about. And hobbies are supposed to cost you money. They did not. Most people join the wrong company at the wrong time in history their first time. Many do their second time. And then many end up following their upline from deal to deal to deal. Oh, we to all join one deal, company and then fail. all of us. Some, some of us learn. <laughs> some of us can say, okay, wait a minute. How do I evaluate this? Is this a good opportunity? <laughs> what should I be looking at? What should I not be looking at? Just because my upline got a bridge money deal and they went to this company, does that mean I need to go to that company? Or what? what is the timing? What am I looking at here? You know, the, the quality of our life is in direct proportion to the quality of questions that we I'm ask. I'm willing to bet it's his company. Answer them truthfully. Most of these people don't. You guys, I'm waiting for Ashton Kutcher to pop out and be like, surprise, you're getting punked. You're being punked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where are the cameras? Because this makes no sense. And I'm trying to hold it together, but I'm really having a hard time. I'm really struggling. So send but it. But but our logic is bizarre, like oh scary God. bizarre. Oh. We have three more steps. Wait, I th number four, but three more steps. No, he's showing one of his resources. Okay. All right. He's promoting himself. <laughs> yeah. That's so two shots. Take a drink, guys. <laughs> okay. Two shots. Do you guys remember the name of his company? I forget. It's letters. Uh, yeah, I have it. I have it. I took the notes that day. <laughs> Let me open up my notes that we took. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> you like my sign? So good. I'm, I wanted to make sure that I didn't put emotion into it. Uh, somebody asked how many people viewed his video. There were like I think six views and then I made a video about it. And then I think now there's like a thousand. APLGO. APLGO is his company. It looks like cough drops. Jessica, that was so nice of you to send all of those views to his, his video. That was so kind of you. So wasn't kind. it? Yeah. You're so sweet. I said he probably wanted clout from this and he got clout, but not the kind of clout he wants because everybody in the comments were ripping him to shreds. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, damn. That's a Ducky O said six, six views were all him. <laughs> <laughs> Jaina said it's letters. It's called I A M A D B A G. I can't deal with Julie Joe's laugh. That almost that well, almost sent me. I on this it was probably five or six or seven years ago. It was called the three step blueprint for choosing the right network marketing company opportunity. And the reasons because I had so many people that were calling me at the time saying, Dale, what do you know about this company? What do you know about that company? And and <sighs> I would I evaluated them all the same way. So I just did this video for customers and clients to let them know this is what I look at. He's not going to make us watch it, is he? Company. Most Please. network marketers hadn't even considered this. Hadn't even considered it. And then last year, you know, I did, you know, the best network marketing opportunity for 2000. I had that hat when I was 12. And gave the, the that poor girl probably four, signed up for an advertisement and job and she's like four, entry nine, level nine, and then three gets put on this. I, ever. I don't even know what I said there. But I looked at, I knew what the four were and I call it the four stars. 
<laughs> and I talked about it and that company that was featured uh, in the summer last year, the summer, their product was rated the number one antioxidant product in the world in network marketing by Home Business Magazine. Oh, Home uh, Business, home business magazine. magazine, independent third party source. Right. And then last month, they were rated the number one network marketing company, voted the number one network marketing company in the world. Again, it's not me. That's more shots, y'all. This is Home Magazine. Home He's throwing his MLS. This is at Home Magazine. But I called it. I called it a year before because I knew the four stars had lined up. What What are this we even talk, talking about at this point? <laughs> it's not. Um. Someone said the, the volume is low on Dale. Yes, there is nothing we can do. That is all him. Go, Dale, go. It's all his volume. Not. It's really not. But most people don't take the time to get educated. <laughs> Number five, they eliminate themselves and others from the possibility of a life-altering experience <laughs> from finding the right team, the right company, the right type of industry. <laughs> They, they, eliminate. he's just trying to get us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he so is. They okay. eliminate themselves, okay, and Aaron. They eliminate themselves and others from the possibility of a life altering experience. Yeah, we all experienced it. Life altering. <sighs> I'm just dying at the graphics. I can't. I know. I'm trying not to get in trouble. I'm going to keep my breath. <laughs> Stop. That from ever happening. Uh, you know, I did this, this video. This is actually the video that uh, the lady in San Fernando <gasps> Valley, uh, Angela, actually saw. This is the video that her and her husband saw. The lady that I shared the email with earlier. You know, Wait. this year, there's not four stars any longer. He said... This is the video that Angela saw. I was wondering if he was talking about Angela. Can we save Angela? He said this is the video Angela saw, but then Angela mentioned me in the email, supposedly. Yeah. But I'm not in this video. No. Dale, the math isn't mathing, but that <laughs> kind of makes sense, I guess. Because math did isn't you, real. Did you email yourself, Dale? Dale. Be honest, Dale. Come on. Dalered. <laughs> but. There's five stars. There's five stars that must line up. And really, there's only one company I know right now with five stars line up. Oh, I wonder what company like that is. Three, four, <laughs> maybe even five companies where the four stars line up. But there's not that many opportunities that are valid in this profession today. Why? Because of everything that the anti-network marketing community says. That's why. And again, I'm on their side. They don't even understand that I'm on their <laughs> side. The difference between... Dale, are you in an MLM? Dale, do you promote your MLM? Dale, do you coach people to do better in MLMs? You're wrong, but... <laughs> It's the finger guns for me. Dale, how, how can you be on our side when all you're doing is insulting what we are doing alleged? I mean, I don't even know, like, because he hasn't watched our videos, really, but. Yeah. We're, you have we a funny way of showing that you're on our side by insulting Jessica and other anti-MLM creators. Like, I don't, I don't. Well, not only did he insult all of us, because we're not logical, yeah. he insulted all the people who watch it and support yeah. it. So uh, anyone who's not in an MLM, basically. Yeah. Does that mean you're not smart either, Dale? Dale? Right. But I don't, think, I don't think that's going to age well for him. No. Uh, the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm going to hell for laughing <laughs> at some of them. I feel the same. And listen, I'm trying to hold it together and I'm really struggling, you guys. I'm We're not. Trying... Mean. It's just he's baiting us. Um, <laughs> I feel baited. I feel like that's probably Dale in the comments with like the energy comment. That one, uh, I that's probably Dale trying to get us in trouble. Dale, Dale. don't do that, Dalerd. I didn't see the energy comment. What did I? I, I missed that one. He's living off specific types of energy. 
small things energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first play. In them is they want to take all the apples and put them in the same basket. And small that's feet, not true. It's not fair. Oh, it's not reality. Yeah. And, and again, you take away people's opportunity for hope. So the sixth, the sixth reason that they're it's flawed is these people are providing like no value. Oh, no, no fucking value. Way. Say your. Okay, so something that was interesting, Aaron and I were talking about the other day, is they talk about how they give value, 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 but. If you look at their, uh, what is it called, Aaron? Brook Banks 0.43%. I don't know what it's called. Uh, engagement. If you look at their engagement, their engagement is less than 1%. <laughs> on all social media. All of ours is above, way above that. Way and the the people who's are above that that are in the MLMs are the ones at the very tippy top that people are worshiping <laughs> and yes. joining just to say that they're a part of their team. Yeah, their engagement is from their downline. Yeah, exactly. And ours is just from people, friends, like people like the people in the comments, people who just <laughs> chat and laugh. Hear me out. People whose lives we bring value to. Well, <gasps> Oh, no, wait. Maybe. Be careful, Jessica. Be careful saying that. You're gonna piss off Daylord. Yeah, Your peace. Take the cat. Be done with it. This is real important. If you're if you're addicted to the anti MLM videos. I don't like the way he used the word addiction there. That was odd. Problem's not Dale. And if I said, well, Dale, who are you really doing this for? It's you. That's who I'm really doing this for. And I'm hoping to make, to make an impact for people that are looking at network marketing. I'm, I'm hoping to make, a, make an impact for people that are doing the videos and say, hey, you know, there might be. Oh, he's be making an impact, but company. it's not the kind he thought. It is a, can be valuable for other people, but I'm really doing it for those that are addicted to this type of content. Again, if you're producing the video, say your piece and move on. So uh, I can, let me go. Let me go. Um, why don't you Dale say your piece and move on? If you can tell us that, like, if you say we're providing no value, I actually personally think Dale, Dalard, excuse me, my friend, you're providing no value. So why don't you say your piece and move on? What what would you say back to that? Good point. We would, we would say the same thing back that he's going to say. Well, I'm I am giving value. I'm educating. I'm doing that. Well, we are too. It's just not what you want us to be educating on. We're not telling you to stop. You keep going, Dale. Dig your own grave. <laughs> Yeah, I just think this is him trying to control the narrative, and that's which is a pattern that I know I personally have seen. Julie Joy, I know you've seen it recently. Jessica, I'm sure you've seen it. When we point out things and we're we have facts to back it up, and we cite our sources, and we're we're explaining our experience and that we were successful, and uh, a lot of us were part of multiple companies, they don't want to accept that. So it's very interesting that instead of saying well you know that you know okay you were in multiple companies or whatever they try to control the narrative mm -hmm. well you can talk about me but this is what you need to say and mm -hmm. what i what i say to that is no you don't get to control the narrative we're responding to your entire video yeah i feel like i just said this not too long ago on a live jj mm -hmm. and <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna share what we want to share but we're gonna back it up with facts and data and studies along with our personal experiences and many mm -hmm. of us, like I said, in multiple companies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's wrong with merch memberships and YouTube views? Dill, you also, you know, you also get YouTube views, right? I mean, not many, but you do. And he charges like $500 for a CD pack on Amazon for a training program, an eight step training program. 
CD pack. Oh yeah, but he corrected me. They offer it online now. Because oh. I said, who uses CDs anymore? Oh, oh. Well, Dalard, I think that you shouldn't be doing that. What do you say about that? Right? You think you should because it's educational. Well, so is ours. And I would argue, excuse me, I just burped. I would argue that what he's doing with his like training programs is even worse than what the MLMers are doing. Like he's not only doing like what the MLMers are doing, but he's taking advantage of the people who are failing, like drowning in the MLM. He's taking advantage of them at the same time, which is worse. <laughs> Best five hundred dollar sleep program around. Oh, why do they create a YouTube channel around that? to educate and raise awareness around the dangers of MLM? Yeah, Just we answered that question. in Roberta's live today too. I mean, I answer that yeah. at the beginning of every single one of my videos that he watched ten hours of. He says. <laughs> I, and for me, and I've said this recently, like I, I've, I've said it in Roberta's live, not today, but a few lives ago, the, the pilot, uh, I'm here to, uh, my goal is to be the person I wish I had. I, I wish I had someone like me yeah, or like you, Jessica, or like you, Aaron, before I joined my MLM. That's, that's what we're here doing. That's what we're doing. We're, we're doing, you're giving one side of the MLM. We're giving the other. Since you don't show the whole picture, we have to. Yeah. And then let people decide from there. Yeah. I have this thought that keeps coming up. You know how we, as, as creative people, if you're a creative person, let us know, but like, I will get these thoughts that come up and it's so interesting to me because there are so many people out there that scour through the amp when they're getting ready to buy something on Amazon, they'll scour through, you know, the reviews and all of that stuff. But there are so many people because of the relationship that they have with that person that's pitching this MLM opportunity, they don't think twice about researching. And, and for me personally, I want to change that. If there's somebody that's looking at an MLM, I want them to know to look at the income disclosure statement. I want them to look uh, or, or to ask for a profit and loss statement. I want them to have all of the information. Should they choose to join the MLM after having all of the information? That's that's their decision, but at least they're educated on both sides. That's the issue that I have is that the lack of information, they're just supposed to trust that person that's like, oh no, it's great. I'll teach you, I'll train you, I'm your mentor. Blah, 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 blah. And, and they skip over stuff like a yeah. used car salesman. And we want to create awareness and education so that people can look at the other side of things rather than just taking the word for it from the person that they are talking to. Who you're, you know? who's financially benefiting from them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Dalefer, I just can't, I can't handle. Um, also, pew, 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 Dale for president. Pew, pew. I love it. I love it. anti -MLM. I'm not saying why did they do a video, do a video, do two videos if you need to, but why create a YouTube channel? Dale, I'll do seven videos if I feel like it. Well, also, uh, thank the MLM community for the reason why we have to do so many videos. There's so much to cover. That should say a lot. <laughs> I'm sitting on so much content. Yeah. So much content. People are like, here, can you do one over this video? I'm like, yeah, maybe in March. Yeah. It's very overwhelming. It is, yeah. Very overwhelming. They're attempting to create a tribe of those who feel like victims so they can profit off their ignorance with merch, membership, and YouTube views. That's what's going on here. That That's really what's going on here. Uh, you know, encouraging people to stay in a state of feeling like they are a victim so they will watch your YouTube videos, join your community, and buy your T-shirts does more damage to others than any network marketing company ever has. 
That's a big statement, Taylor. And the right to remove hope from others based upon false information. Again, the only way to make it is if it, it to the top is if everybody else fails and all the other garbage That's rude. that is not true that has been propagated like parrots throughout this community. We should make a parrot t-shirt with all, with three parrots in our faces on each parrot. Information. Yes, there are problems. As with finger guns. Out against for over 20 years. But your focus is not on fixing the problems, but profiting from them. How do you fix the problems the if simply don't know to the world the problems don't exist? You have to bring awareness to the problems in yeah. order to fix the problems. Yeah, you like I meant I mentioned this recently on on a live that we've done. If we just say, "Hey, MLMs are bad and they do this 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 and this." That's like someone doing a research paper and saying, "Hey, I figured this out on my research paper. Where are yep. your sources? How do you know? I need to see it." Yep. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. We are showing it all. It's just like that, that research paper. How much longer is this video? We are on one hour and one minute. All right, so we have like 10 minutes left, 13 minutes left, something like that. Yeah, not much. How are you guys doing? Good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Great. I mean, we're alive. <laughs> Somebody yeah. said, Jessica, I just realized that enjoying your videos has been more damaging to than losing my life savings. That's so sad. It's amazing to learn new things. It really is. Ugh. Someone get Aaron to bed. It's only 6 p.m. my time. I'm just... <laughs> no. My, my capacity to, to listen to Dale was over like an hour ago. Like what yeah. we had an hour and a minute. I was like an hour ago, I was already getting like what do they call that slap happy? Like I couldn't control oh, yeah. the tables. Okay. So oh, I stop here and then look over the. I uh, I don't know if he says anything more. Mm -hmm. I want to say one thing about this slide though. Um, the fact that he tries to say that us making YouTube videos and having people buy our T-shirts does more damage to others than any network company, network marketing company ever has. That is such a bold statement considering that some companies have li literally ruined people's lives, like financially, emotionally, mentally, their relationships, like, and I've ne I'm never like making a victim out of uh, Chris Watts and I've never wanted to like touch on that. But I know for a fact, just being in that situation that that, that was a wedge between their marriage and i'm n in no way saying that it was her fault or that he should have done obviously fucking not but that that was definitely a wedge like there are lives seriously being ruined because of these companies so for him to say that us making videos and having people buy merch is more damaging than that that's bold yeah i agree actually i think the rest of this is just this video the ending is just this video. He shows us that this whole video. Oh. So we don't let's. Need to watch that. If a we video. can lift it up until he starts it, I think, which is just a few minutes. Yeah, because the video is 10 minutes. So we're almost to the very end of his. And then we can look at the uh, that link. Yep. Yep. If y'all want that predatory the thing he says everyone should go look at. Yeah. Yep, I got it ready. Cool. Better. Uh, oh. This is going to go deep. Okay, he's he's okay. done. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the article. Okay, hold on. Let me share my screen. This is the article that describes me, by the way. I can't. And, yeah. Okay. Can everybody see this? Yes. Yes. Okay. I won't be able to see the chat, so just FYI. So 13 surprising traits of predatory people that you might just overlook. You can see the, uh, the website at the top. Just because mm -hmm. we cite our sources over her. Um, number one, they seem too perfect. I'm not going to read all this. No, yeah. Just go over the... Go through the number. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, they are entitled. So this is what he, Dale is saying. We are. The, yeah. That, yeah. Is, yeah. 
They are masters at exploitation. Okay, I think maybe we should like skim over like what they say, like this first sentence says they know um, your weaknesses and blind spots. That's legitimately taught in the MLMs. Like it's taught to find people's weaknesses and latch onto those so that you can reel them in with their weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah. Number four, they feign intimacy. So this to me is like, transactional relationships that's how i yep that. and that that's that's what they're they stand on is building these friendships online relationships to connect wow. with these people on a deeper level so they'll join their team they yep. pretend to be whatever it is that you need from them yep yeah yeah they must have control kind of like deals trying to control the narrative right now so that's mm -hmm. interesting yeah yeah number six they suffer from low self-worth I mean, I would not argue after I left my MLM, I for damn sure struggled yeah. with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Number Dale's seven. Different. Sorry, what? It just makes me laugh when people take his name and put it Dale Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Dilbert. <laughs> Dilbert, oh my Lord. <laughs> they cannot empathize is number seven. Oh, good God. I wish sometimes I couldn't. I feel like yeah. I, I feel too much sometimes. Yeah. Um, I, this is a hallmark trait of a sociopath, psychopath, and even a narcissist. That's interesting that he's citing this. Mm -hmm. They either love or hate. And to me, that is the us versus them mentality straight out of the bike model. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number nine, they easily find fault, but not in themselves. Um, I feel like the last hour and one minute is proof of that one for Dale. Like, Yeah, and the exact opposite for us. We threw ourselves under the bus first and foremost yeah. before we, you know. They are likable. Number 10. Number 11, they are the victim. Because, you know, Jessica threw the first shot at Dale. So. Yeah. Clearly, he's the victim. Yeah. Number 12, they flatter. Love bombing. Okay. Yeah, love bombing. Yeah. And number 13, they're never, ever wrong. Which I, yeah. I mean, all of us have admitted when we're wrong or Absolutely. when we had shortcomings. Yeah. And whenever you, whenever we looked at that, like whenever we watched the video and I looked at that, I was like, it's so odd that he sees us the way that we see in MLMers. Mm -hmm. And by that, I mean like top leaders and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's like clear as day to me. It's so like, even while I was in, if I would have seen that article, I would have related it to some of my top leaders, you know, like it, yes. it registered with me that I knew that they had some of those traits, but obviously when you're in, you shut that off and you focus on the <laughs> uh you focus on like the positive parts of it and the false hope if you will <laughs> dealeria oh my god oh my god Delerica. <laughs> dale oh, i'm gonna leave it there yeah he's definitely somebody said i think he's gaslighting with the article that's exactly what he's doing yeah. this whole presentation was gaslighting absolutely and and completely insulting yeah completely insulting i mean he was totally fine being extremely rude and insulting to jessica and and then all anti-mlmers and then all people who support anti-mlm yeah but yet then he calls us smart after calling us dumb it's just watching this i'm like <sighs> those <laughs> powerpoints he worked hard on those powerpoints it's amazing dale <laughs> Dale, though. That's what I was laughing at earlier. I was like, yeah. oh, God. I'm just proud of us that I'm proud that we made it through that. I, we survived. That was us. For all of those that stayed through that with us, dude, I'd give you a high five if I knew you. Like, you are probably you. all shit faced right now, falling over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you drank, if you drank, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. We did it. Jessica, do you have a uh, do you have any final thoughts that you would like to say? Because I don't think so. I'm just uh, getting caught up with the comments, but comments yeah. are amazing. 
they are, you guys. Like, I feel like I'm going to go to hell if I laugh at some of them. So I'm like, try, I'm like holding myself back, but we are survivors of death. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I couldn't not. Don't, don't be upset with me for laughing at this stuff, y'all. No, I'm You're not. Kidding. But you know how some people get. Yeah. Yep. Drunk is a scholar. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh I saw um, earlier, I don't know if you guys saw, Dave came on here and said something nice. Dave did? Yeah, um, Vaughn. Oh. Yeah, I, when it popped up, it was like a long comment. And it said Dave. I thought it said Dale. I was like, no way, Dale's here. <laughs> no, he'll wait until we're done and then he'll comment. That would be, I mean, that would be interesting. Well, I want to see it then. If I wish I knew the name, I know that's a. It was a long comment. Hold on, if I just go to like Jessica's. Oh, okay. I found it. You did? I don't know, I don't know how to. Uh, Seven fifty-eight p.m. is the time stamp thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I see it. I see it. I'm gonna go hard it or star it so we can see it, or I'm gonna put it up. Okay, eight. I'm at eight o'clock 7.50 a we're almost there oh okay I'm looking for the long comment now it should be any any of these there he is show I'm gonna read it Jessica sure he just said hey all uh just popping in to say this is awesome your value is the thousands now able to process their time in MLM and understand that so much of their suffering was by design not their own making that's amazing I love that, Dave. Thank you. That's yeah. an amazing comment. Yeah. Did you almost call him Dale, Julie? <laughs> Maybe. Because <laughs> when I when I was on responding to Dale's for second video, the one I did live, I kept accidentally calling him Dave. And I'd be like, damn it, Dave. And then I'd be like, fuck, damn it, Dale. <laughs> 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 they look for, stop it oh That's hilarious um oh y'all are amazing all right yeah. oh Thank wow you guys sitting through that with us dale, dale or point <laughs> let's go eat now dale formation yeah i should go eat too okay all right you guys thank you guys for being on here with me and oh, yeah, um for being my little sidekicks giving me some extra perspective we love you Hey, I, we never even got to the part where he said that he thinks there's something wrong with me. When does he say that? I don't remember, but I remember Chad listening to it and being like, why would he say that? He was That's like, I, I think it was around the time when he said that it was like scary, bizarre. And he was like, no. like, I seriously think there might be something wrong with this girl. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Jessica. Absolutely. Oh, the record. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, judge on like based on our conversation, our little game conversation before this, <laughs> there's might be a little bit wrong with me, but but wrong with all of us. So thank you all for sitting through that with us. Yeah, thanks, I know that was that was tough. That was a day of light. Ah! <laughs> all so right. Funny. On that note, over and out, friends. See y'all later. Bye. Pew, pew, pew.